Hello ladies and gents, this is Spoonie Pizzas here with another Pro Evolution Soccer 2019 video. Today's tutorial is all about creating chances. Okay, so we've just got the ball back. I've played a simple through ball there, another through ball, and now we're on the counter attack. Now, I've paused it here because at the minute Manchester City are pretty comfortable facing my AC Milan side here. We've got a, more or less a four, four on four. Um, and you can see that I've passed the ball here and that might seem a bit pointless, but in PES 2019, it's really important to overpass and set players on runs. So when you're holding, when I'm making this pass, make sure you've got the left trigger or your uh, left bumper held, which is your player select and then press the pass button. That will make your player run as you release the ball, as you can see here. Keep passing that ball and things will open up. Like you've seen there, the, the right back tucked in that allowed uh, Vinicius Jr. to get through on goal. And it's a nice easy tap in. Again in this clip, once again overpassing. Watch the through ball backwards, pass forward, through ball backwards. He slips over, mistake, through on goal, nice easy chip finish. One of the things you need to think about is the sort of build up of your side. So in here I've got Mbolo and I'm able to hold off the defender. Now if that was Firmino, I would probably lay it off the first time. But as it's in Bono, I know he's got that additional strength. So I can hold him off, just shield the ball, just move away from that defender so he can't get near the ball. And then I'm just going to lay it off to Mane with a little through ball. He's just going to take a double touch and then it's a nice little draw to finish. When you're a goal up, I tend to move to a defensive tactic. If you can see in the bottom right -hand corner, you can see the little blue line. That means I am playing a defensive style because as you can see in the Chelsea uh, bottom left hand corner you can see that they've got a red line which means they're attacking so sometimes I just like to sit back soak up the pressure and hit them on the counter attack because I've got the speed to do it this touch that I've taken is absolutely deliberate now what I was looking for was the defender at the back there the one closest to Salah that's goal side I looked to see which way he was moving as he was moving towards he's sort of uh, jockeying towards Salah I realized I had to release the ball a little earlier than I'd like. Um, what you can do is you can sometimes get the player to be drawn to the ball carrier. And that's what I was trying to do with that touch. But not only that, that this touch allows me to feed a more accurate ball. If you don't turn and you try to play that ball, he might fall over and the ball he'll be unbalanced and the pass won't be as good. So it's important to be facing in the right direction when you're releasing passes. And also it's all about timing as well and when to release the pass and get in the right power on the pass. Once I release that ball, I actually use Super Cancel just to kill the ball as it touches the ground. And that allows me to control the ball and finish easily. This next clip's just about keeping your eyes open and looking for your players in the box. So you can see here, I've just frozen it. The, look how much space the ball is in. Now, if you watch that play back, you might not notice it, but you've always got to have a whole picture in your head. And if that, if that sort of opening um, happens, then just play a lo lofted through ball. So just press your uh, your lob pass button, put the right amount of power on it, and you'll find that player nice and easy. So in this counter attack, what you're going to see here is me overpowering a pass. And the reason for that is by passing Firmino in the middle. That allows me to lay the ball back off to Firmino for the one to, to run and throw on goal. And it's an easy finish. Okay, we're going to break this clip down into sections. So this is a normal pass with player select held down. And what that does is it allows him to run once he's released the pass. That's then followed up with a through ball with the player select held down once again. So once he's released the pass, he makes a run. From here, I'm just making a regular pass with the player select again. Notice this time as I press pass with player select again, it's gonna set Manny on a run. But notice how other players stop running when you when you do that. So watch Henderson as I release his pass. He will he will he will break his run that I set him on. Once Firmino receives the ball, notice how the defender is facing up to me. Now it's going to be very very difficult for him to do a 180 turn. So I should have the acceleration to get past him now. This is the sort of ideal distance between the two players. And once again, I'm just going to use the pass and the player select at the same time. And that will set Firmino on a run. Now this next part is so important. Notice how I've taken a touch. And the reason for that is because Firmino and the defender are actually level. 
And what I'm going to wait for is Firmino just to press ahead of his man. And then, and only then, will I release, release the through ball. And he's got still plenty of way to go because he won't be offside. There's plenty of room for him to run. So we can see here, as I've released the pass, that Firmino is ahead of his man. He's got his arm across and he's going to get the ball first. One of the key game mechanics to note this year in PES 2019 is how defenders react or midfielders react to your player runs. So you can see here, I had Firmino, I laid the ball off to Salah, I set him on a run by holding the player select and pressing the pass button. Now, defenders and midfielders will always track those runners from the first pass. And that's a really key thing to note for my next clip that I want to show you. Okay, so I play the ball into Salah. He's going to lay the ball off backwards with player select held down, so he's going to make that run. And watch the right back for Southampton track his run. As I lay it back to Grimaldo here, if any point that I play a through ball, even if Salah was level with the right back, um, the right back would win the race. But it's all about playing that additional pass. So what you're going to see me he do here is play a ball into Sturridge, and then play a through ball to Salah, and that will work. So this pass from Grimaldo isn't, I'm not holding player select, you just play a normal pass, because like I said in my previous clip, if you play, if I was to press player select and press pass now with Grimaldo, it would cancel Salah's run. So you can see here, I'm just gonna play a normal pass into storage, and then he's gonna play the through ball to Salah, and he's gonna outrun the defender. I used to use the drilled uh, cross to pull it back to the edge of the box, but now I tend to use through ball in PES 2019. It seems a lot more effective than the drilled cross. In this clip, it's all about being patient, sending players on player runs. If the pass isn't on, don't play it. And that's exactly what you're seeing here. Now watch the overlap here. I play it back to my right back, play it back into Salah, do a little turn, and then I play it back into my right back's position, who can then feed the strikers and create a chance. And lastly, if you don't want to use passing, there are other alternatives, which is to dribble, like here. And I'll be showing you how to do this in my dribbling tutorial, which is coming next. And that, ladies and gents, concludes the chance creation tutorial. I will be bringing out more of these, so you'll see a part two and a part three uh, shortly after my dribbling tutorial, which is coming next. Let me know what you think about the format of this video. I know I had some feedback to say that my previous videos were too long, I was talking too much and there wasn't enough action. So hopefully, you know, this might be an improvement, but if not, then let me know what, what you think about the style. Um, as for the, the key point I think you need to take away is that when you release a pass with your player and you're holding player select and he makes that run, is not to immediately use the through ball or over the top through ball straight away is to make another pass before you set him on that, before you uh, before you release the through ball. And that will help you create more chances. It will um, basically ap apply a little bit of a speed boost, which is why you can see that I was getting in behind defenses a lot easier than perhaps you've been able to do in the past, where, you know, I know a lot of people have been complaining that they've had Mbappe and they can't get him in behind the defense. But just try this, try playing the pass, setting Mbappe on the run, Playing another pass and then through ball to Mbappe or, you know, a third or fourth or fifth pass before you through ball it back to Mbappe. But just remember that if you do press player select and pass with another player, it will cancel his run. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will catch you again. Bye-bye.